Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I turned this Snow White toddler doll into Alice Angel from Bindi and the Ink Machine. So, let's get started. First, I painted her whole body white. I taped back her hair with painter's tape and I painted her face white as well. I borrowed this dress from my Sleeping Beauty toddler doll. Then I cut off the tool overlay and the fabric triangles at the waist. And I painted it black. I painted her red shoes black as well to match her dress. Next, I recreated Alice Angel's face using the doll's molded features as a guide. Then I painted on Alice's black sleeves. To make Alice Angel's horns, I painted the horns on this headband white Then I cut them off and glued them onto the doll's head. And finally, I used pipe cleaners to make the halo and stuck it in her hair. And that's it! Now we have a custom made Alice Angel doll. This is actually one of my most favorite customs I ever made. I love Bindi and the Ink Machine. I love Alice Angel and I think this doll turned out really good. Okay, making Alice Angel was so much fun, but now we're going to move on to something else, and here is a bonus video. Today, we are going to make a cat suit that fits your Barbie, but it can also be used for Monster High, or Superhero Doll, or Disney Princess Doll. We're going to make a cat suit that fits your 11 to 12 inch doll, or just about any doll for that matter. The point is you need a doll for your measurements. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with this doll that I used for another project 
obviously, because it's going to be a lot easier to work with without the head. You don't have to remove the head from your doll to do this project. It's just, I happen to have this one laying around and I thought, why not? You also need some stockings. I have a knee high one here and I have some leggings. These are kind of like uh, leotard leggings. They're not really as thick as regular leggings, but they're not really as thin as leotard. So we're going to use this because it's a beautiful shade of gray and it'll make a good cat. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this down to size. Then we're going to turn it inside out and stick our doll inside. Okay, now with our doll inside, we're going to use sewing pins to outline the doll and secure her in place. I'm gonna put a little pin down here at the end just to keep her from going too far down. And then we're going to secure her shoulders and the rest of her body. Now we're going to sew along the edges with the doll still inside so we can make sure to get a really tight fit. First I sewed on this side, stopped, started again, and sewed on this side. And now I can pretty much sew from this inner arm all the way around the body until I end up back here on the other hand. So here we go. Okay, now that it's sewn all around, we're going to cut out some areas. Uh, she needs a neck. Okay, now we're going to take the doll out and I'm just gonna go around everything with my sewing machine to make sure it's really secure. You can skip this step if you want. You can certainly just hand sew it, but I'm gonna use the sewing machine real quick. Now that it's all sewn together, we're going to cut off the excess fabric. Once it's all cut out, you can turn it right side out. And here's our cat suit. Now we'll put it on our mannequin doll here. And here we go, it fits very nicely. We still have the opening in the back that we have to close up, but for now, this is looking good. We need to finish up this back. So I'm going to cut some Velcro in half, and I'm going to sew one on one side, and this one on the other. Now this is all closed up. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add some fur. I have some acrylic fur here. This is of course not real. This is synthetic. It looks really cool. Kind of looks like a sweater on the back. We're going to take this and find a way to add it to our doll. I think that is going to look amazing. We can even make a tail out of it. First I'm going to cut some fur for the top part. And when you cut fur out, it's important to kind of part it before you cut so that you're not cutting fur unnecessarily. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, okay. There we go, looking good. Okay, now we're going to cut off some little pieces to go around the arms and I'm going to hot glue these on because sewing these is going to be a bear. And then I place some at her feet. To make the tail, I cut off 
a section of fur. Then I glued it to her outfit. We can also make her a headband with kitty ears out of felt. So on a small piece of elastic. And that's it. Now we have a cat suit that fits our Barbie and looks like she belongs in Cats the Movie or Cats the Musical. Okay guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.